So you might notice that I'm sitting in the engine bay of the car, which obviously means that it's back in my possession. But more importantly, what that really means is that it's caged. This completely custom cage was put together for me by a fellow hill climber, Cody Puckett of Victory Fabrication. Cody absolutely knocked this one out of the park, tying the cage into all four shock towers, as well as over 22 points on the body. As a result, this formerly wet noodle of a Miata chassis is now incredibly stiff. Whenever I get around to driving this thing again, turn in should be absolutely god tier. Of course, the obvious benefit from a cage is now this car is much, much safer, which will be an excellent reassurance to have when I'm doing over 160 miles an hour on track. As much as I love just looking at this beautiful cage that Cody built me, it's raw steel that'll rust if left unpainted. A few of my friends have told me that painting a cage is the most miserable experience they've ever had, but I don't really believe them, so I'm gonna paint this one myself. Don't ask me if it works. I, mean, I assume it does. I don't know. I just think I've never been in a wind tunnel. Painting the cage wasn't that bad. I mean, it was kind of time consuming and tedious and now I'm covered in paint, but that's kind of par for the course when you're painting anything as far as I'm concerned. And she's back in the air, back in maintenance mode. Hopefully next time that wheels and tires go on this thing is whenever I'm ready to put it down, take it out and test drive it. But right now that feels like a long way away. So for now, just gonna put the seats back in, put the hard top back on, put the wing back on, put the interior back in. And then I think since the motor is all completed and back together, I'm gonna put that in and then build my new exhaust. So let's do that now. One of my obvious claims to fame is having a side pipe. We're gonna keep this side pipe, but we're gonna optimize it and make it a little bit better. So here's my turbo, all mounted up in its spot. You can see from here, the exhaust immediately goes downward and does this really sharp S-bend. I did this to try and keep heat away from the factory Miata slave cylinder on the transmission, and it mostly worked, but I'm not concerned about that anymore. Also, you see these things? Those are called mufflers. We're not doing that anymore. This old exhaust was made out of mild steel. So anywhere that the ceramic coat started to chip off, which was a lot of spots, it would immediately start rusting. So I grabbed a bunch of stainless steel from Summit Racing. This might be a little bit lighter, but since it's 304 stainless, 
it's not gonna rust, which is what I'm really after. And my old crappy S-Bend downpipe that probably flowed like crap. Let's get started. All right, this first bit is gonna be the easiest. We're off the back of the turbo, 90 degrees, and then straight down. From there, it might get a little bit more complicated. Oh, and you know I got my V-bands. V-bands are life. V-bands are love. I drive a Miata. Of course I can't cut a straight line. Of course, the one spot that I blow through at is the one that's going to be the most visible. That's always just how it goes. It's all good. I'll patch it up. It'll be strong. Just remember my motto, function over form. All right, this is where we're at so far. Got the first part of the downpipe tacked in, going straight down. Over here, we have the majority of the side pipe built along the outside. I'm really, really salty that the one place it's really evident is one place I burned through and I had to patch. In here, you can see this is where I trimmed previously for the downpipe, just to kind of help slide that in there, give me lots of wheel clearance. All the way in here and up, you can see the bottom of the downpipe coming through. So now I have to make that part up there match up to here. And I still have to fit a V-band clamp and a bit of flexible tubing in there as well and then figure out some kind of mounting for there and there. I picked up these rubber isolators. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make that work or if I'm just gonna end up solid mounting on these two spots again like I did last time. And then of course, beautiful tip right there. The hard part is this whole area where there's not a lot of space and there's a lot of things happening. Exhaust here to exhaust here. All this area is going to be wheel, so trying to keep the clearances in, trying to keep the exhaust away from the brake line and away from the suspension bushings here, and away from all the ABS wiring. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. It's definitely a challenge, but let's keep cracking on. Did a bunch of welding, cutting, grinding. Let's catch you up where I'm at. First of all, this thing's awesome. I am loving this. I put about 500 PSI of argon through it so far. Absolutely worth every penny spent. So initial downpipe going down. We have a V-band right there. In the wheel well, you can see the V-band up there. Did a whole bunch of pie cuts right through here. A small straight, single pie cut, flex joint. Here we have the whole exterior pipe. Tip still sitting here, that'll go on last. And then to match these two, I have a few pie cuts together. And they're gonna go right about there like that. And that should join those two. And then make mounts. Somehow put this tip on and uh, we have an exhaust. Even with the wheel on, there is plenty of room back here. This is gonna be full droop, full lock, so the absolute worst case scenario that I should never hit. There's still about a finger's worth here and about the same amount back there at that flexi plate. So again, we're never gonna be in this. This is all the way down, all the way turned in. If the suspension is at this point on the track, we have an issue. Time to just tack all these pie cuts together, join the two parts of the exhaust right here, and uh, We'll have 95% of this done. I would absolutely say that doing this is uh, exhausting. All right, all right, sorry. Bad pun was bad, but come on. I had to at least once, right? In apologies, this exhaust is 
two welds and O2 bung away from being done. Whipped up a little bracket for there. Whipped up a little bracket for there. Weld these tight, done. I had been playing around with the idea of using those little exhaust isolators, but one, there's not really a whole lot of room down here to mount those, and two, guys, it's a Buzzy K series that is 50% solid mounted to the chassis. It's gonna rattle. Uh, one last thing, I couldn't stand looking at that really ugly weld, so I cut it out and redid it. I do care very slightly about aesthetics.